Hmm. So that's what it looks like in this level of light at 5 a.m. I can't even see my hand. <coughs> Oof. All right. Well, even though it may be completely freaking dark. Hi! How the fuck are you? I am Katana, the lightning cat. Yes, yes, I know. You, you've got kittens. Thank, thank you very much. Hey. How you doing, hmm? Good morning to you all. The kittens, that is. <clears throat> oh, good morning to all of you. Just give me a moment here. Okay, that goes there. Stop marking that as your own. That don't belong to you. Fuzzy, that's not yours, that's mine. Don't make me pee on it. <coughs> Boop. Right, I spent a few minutes thinking about how I was going to word this before I got out of bed. <coughs> hmm? <coughs> so I decided instead of rambling on about the reasons for my behavior Which, let me just shorten it and say, IQ over 160. Rick ain't the first to act like me. Yes, and you can derive whatever you want from that. And here's the dessert. Fuck me for not saying thank you to all of you. For everyone, every last one of you, who has viewed even a couple of seconds of any of my videos, I owe you a thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honestly, at this point, I'm more upset with YouTube than I am with individuals on the platform and yeah I'm, I'm upset with the way YouTube is running things, so it's put me in a very nihilistic, cynical, and very depressed mood, because they just deleted my last channel for apparently no fucking reason, because I was trying to advertise for myself in the comment section of other YouTube channels, and they want everyone to give them money to use Google Ads. Yeah, very disheartening. <clears throat> Especially if you don't have the money to pay for advertisement. Anyway, put all that aside. I owe you, the viewers, thanks. So, thank you. Even if you've only watched a couple of seconds of a video.
for all of you who have subscribed, even if you unsubscribed. Don't know how the fuck you're gonna know things that you unsubscribed, but thank you anyway. <coughs> Immense monosaturated goodening. Leave it to Discord to find something hilarious. Oh, that's already ticked off, that is. <clears throat> So anyway, to everyone, thank you for putting up with my nihilistic cynicism, my sarcasm, my satire, my dark parody. Yeah, all three of those things kind of mush together if, if you do it just right. Thanks for putting up with me being all pissy and bitchy. Thanks. Honestly. Sincerely, thank you. Now I've decided to remove the um, the hashtags for satire, sarcasm, parody <coughs> from this particular video. But just remember, when I am being a sarcastic, satirical, cynical, nihilistic, dark parody jackass it's not because I'm pissed off at you individually I'm, I'm pissed off at all of the bullshit that shouldn't be happening and, and here's a point a very very blunt painful point that no one is immune to. It, it's an absolute truth. It's not a fact waiting to become fiction. It's an absolute truth sitting above all else along with the whole plethoric umbrella of truths. <clears throat> it was coined by a guy, I don't remember his name or his YouTube channel or even if I got it from YouTube. But he said, hurting people hurt. And yet, hurting people are in pain and they are hurt. But at the same time, they lash out at other people and they hurt other people. Uh, the logic behind hurting people hurt is that it is expansive and it folds out. Like one of those origami fate puzzle thingies that people had all the rave for back in the late 90s. <coughs> also it carried on till I was in high school in the early 2000s go figure yeah those uh, four finger what you jigger puzzles yeah those things I don't remember how to fold one up eh Palto wants in Dude, you got me out of bed three times between 1 and 4 a.m., okay? Either stay in or stay out, please. One comes in, one goes out. I don't want to ramble on about my life experience being uh, a bunch of bullshit up until recently. So I'm not. Maybe later. When it's not something that someone can point to and say, oh, you're just using that as an excuse and be mean because they're in pain. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Not right now. Hmm. Now on Nitro. 
Gear up as the last hope of the Jedi Order, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One and two are now included with Nitro subscription. Sign up to add it to your library. Well, that's odd, because I actually happen to have Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, Re the Sith Lords, on the original Xbox disc. And the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 on a disc. That might make an interesting let's play. <laughs> and those of you who know me, you know I'm not going to skimp out on the glitches. <clears throat> oh, speaking of glitches in that particular game in particular, I would love to see the remake of those games have um, a nearly unlimited level cap. That would be fun, you know, to, to reach a, a level of skill and power in the game to where you just one-shot all your enemies. <coughs> it, it would be fun to earn that through actually grinding through all the levels. And it would be nice to see some of the cut content put in, like, uh... Like the the red robot, uh, what's his name? HK forty seven. I may be incorrect about his name, but it was HK. Fuck off, train. No, I'm not opening the door right now, Balto. Anyway, that, that red robot that um, Revan, Darth Revan made in the first KOTOR that you pick up in the second one and he has his own uh, storyline quest to where he can go to the factory that made him and... Stop it! Yes, hush. And he gets interrupted by an orange cat who just won't shut up. Yeah, I would love to be able to play through all the extra content that didn't make it into the final game back then. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Yeah, stop yelling at me. In or out, Balto, not in a superposition of both. You're not Schrodinger's cat. You're Katana's cat. Yeah, I know you don't know who Schrodinger is. In or out? Oh, that's what you're on about. Yeah, hang on a, a few minutes, everybody. <coughs> <coughs> Once again, thank you everyone, even for a couple of seconds worth of a view, even if you subscribed and unsubscribed, thank you. Thank you for putting up with me being all nihilistic, sarcastic, cynical, what was the other, fuck it, I forgot. Thanks for putting up with bullshit. Dude, I just gave you food and water. 
<coughs> You're just gonna have to wait. D wait. You just hold your tits, mate. Okay? No, seriously. Be quiet. Where was I? Well, I guess that's it for now. Till next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. And putting up with me being a complete fucking bitch. Yeah, it's fucking difficult, I know. But, uh... It takes years to undo years of psychological abuse and mistraining now, doesn't it? So I'm working through a lot of shit. But... I'm not gonna describe all of it. Not right now. So, thanks for watching. Maybe come back later. Maybe I'll have something worth watching. Till then, till next time, bye.